Kimrick Cat vs. Siberian Cat What are the differences between these two cat breeds? The Kimrick is notable for not having a tail, however not all Simricks are totally tailless. Some have normal length tails, known as longies, while others, known as stumpies, have short tails. A Kimrick with no tail is referred to as a rumpy, while one with only a rise of bone at the end of the spine is referred to as a riser. In the show ring, you'll only see rumpies and risers, although cats with tails can be utilized in Kimrick breeding schemes. A Kimrick has a round head with wide round eyes, a stout, powerful physique with a broad chest, short back and broad, round rear end, short front legs and long hind legs with muscular thighs, and a robust, powerful body with a broad chest, short back and broad, round rear end. The Siberian is distinguished by its lengthy triple coat, which includes guard hairs, on hairs, and a downy undercoat. He has a large ruff around his neck, dense but somewhat shorter hair on his shoulder blades and lower chest, and thick fur on his belly and breeches. In cold conditions, the undercoat thickens. He appears powerful and vigilant, yet he has a lovely smile on his face as he stares out into the world. His head is shaped like a modified wedge, with rounded features that are broad at the top and narrow somewhat towards the muzzle. Medium-sized ears are adorned with fur tufts. Green, gold, green gold, or copper can be used for the almost spherical eyes. These cats originated as mousers, and whether short-haired or long-haired they retain their fine hunting skills and alert nature. With a Kimrick around the house, you don't need a watchdog, you've got a watch cat who reacts rapidly and will growl threateningly or maybe even go on the attack at the sight or sound of anything out of the ordinary. If he sees that you aren't alarmed, he'll settle back down. When he's not protecting his family and property from mice, stray dogs, or other threats, however, the Kimrick is a mellow fellow, an even-tempered and affectionate cat who enjoys serene surroundings. That's not to say he is inactive. This is a happy, playful cat who likes to follow his favorite person through the house and assist with whatever he or she is doing. When you are ready to relax, though, the Kimrick will be in your lap, ready for a comfy nap. If no lap is available, he'll curl up on the nearest available spot that allows him to keep an eye on you. He speaks in a quiet trill and will carry on a conversation if you talk to him. The Kimrick has an adaptable nature if he is exposed to activity and plenty of people as a young kitten. He will enjoy meeting new people, greeting them with a gentle headbutt or cheek rub, and can adapt to a new home or family if such an upheaval in his life is necessary. This is a smart cat who can learn tricks, including fetch and come, and is willing to walk on leash if taught early. He often likes to ride in the car, making him a great companion on long distance trips. He is also good at learning how to open doors, so be sure anything you don't want him to have is under lock and key. Unlike most cats, the Kimrick is willing to accept boundaries and will usually respect your wishes if you tell him no when he jumps on the counter or scratches on your sofa. Just be sure you give him an acceptable alternative as thanks for his nice behavior. The Kimrick is highly people-oriented. Choose him only if you can give him plenty of time and attention daily. The Siberian's heart is as warm as his homeland is cold. He loves people and wants to be near them, so expect this affectionate cat to follow you around, including to the bathroom, and to help you with all of your reading, TV viewing, computer work and meal prep. Sitting in your lap while you comb his fur may well be the highlight of his day. When you come home from work, he might not have a martini waiting, but he will be pleased to tell you all about his day in quiet, pleasant trills and chirps, interspersed with a few meows and purrs. Guess we'll find him to be a genial host, this is not typically a cat who is shy in the presence of strangers. Besides being loving and attentive, the Siberian is also active and playful. He will instigate games of fetch by bringing you a favorite toy to throw. Any item can become a plaything for this clever cat, so keep jewelry or other potentially intriguing items out of his sight. Teaching him tricks is a fun and easy way to challenge his agile brain. Because of his heritage as a forest dweller, he likes playing with water, perhaps it's a genetic memory of going fishing for his supper. Don't be surprised if he enjoys splashing you in the tub, drinking from a fountain or faucet, or making puddles by batting his paw in his water dish. As befits a working and hunting cat, he's highly athletic and you may find him balancing atop a doorway or propelling himself to the highest point in the room. In fact, Siberian coaches may well be the secret to the success of Russian gymnasts. Activity and noise won't bother him a bit. His calm nature gives him the potential to be a therapy cat. If nothing else, he will be happy to snuggle with you when you're down with a cold or other illness. And although he loves attention, he's not needy and will wait patiently until you have time to devote to him. Hello! This video is sponsored by BMix Pets. Are you looking for high quality cat collars at an affordable cost? Check out bmixpets.com. Use coupon code KITTENLIFE to get 20% off. 
The Kimrix coat is easily cared for with brushing or combing a couple of times a week to remove dead hair and distribute skin oil. Check the rear end closely to make sure feces aren't clinging to the fur surrounding the anus, and clean it if necessary to prevent the cat from smearing poop on carpets or furniture. The Siberian's thick triple coat should be combed or brushed a couple of times a week to prevent tangles or mats. The coat will shed seasonally in the spring and fall, and you may need to groom more frequently during that time. A bath is rarely necessary, which is a good thing because the coat is highly water resistant. It can be difficult to get a Siberian wet enough to shampoo him. Most of the Siberian's growth occurs in his first year and a half of life. Your kitten's breeder may recommend that you feed him kitten food during that time to make sure he gets enough nourishment. Brush the teeth to prevent periodontal disease. Daily dental hygiene is best, but weekly brushing is better than nothing. Trim the nails every couple of weeks. Wipe the corners of the eyes with a soft, damp cloth to remove any discharge. Use a separate area of the cloth for each eye so you don't run the risk of spreading any infection. Check the ears weekly. If they look dirty, wipe them out with a cotton ball or soft damp cloth moistened with a 50 to 50 mixture of cider vinegar and warm water. Avoid using cotton swabs, which can damage the interior of the ear. Keep the litter box spotlessly clean. Like all cats they are very particular about bathroom hygiene. It's a good idea to keep them as an indoor-only cat to protect them from diseases spread by other cats, attacks by dogs or coyotes, and the other dangers that face cats who go outdoors, such as being hit by a car. Cats who go outdoors also run the risk of being stolen by someone who would like to have such a beautiful cat without paying for it. If he is introduced to them in kittenhood, the active and social Kimrick is a perfect choice for families with children and cat-friendly dogs. He will play fetch as well as any retriever, learns tricks easily and loves the attention he receives from children who treat him politely and with respect. He lives peacefully with cats and dogs who respect his authority and can learn to leave birds and fish alone. An adult Kimrick may not appreciate children as readily, especially if he is used to a quiet household. The Siberian has a bold temperament, and nothing much ruffles his composure. These characteristics make him an excellent choice for a family with kids. No nighttime monsters will get past the Siberian on guard at the foot of a child's bed. He is happy to live with other cats and cat-friendly dogs, too, as long as they recognize that he's in charge. Introduce pets slowly and in controlled circumstances to ensure that they learn to get along together. If you enjoyed this video, kindly press the like button. Also don't forget to subscribe with notifications on, so that you don't miss out on videos like this. Thank you for watching.